Hey everybody, welcome to J76 Gaming. I am your host, Jimmy Wild, and today we have another freelancer video, and this time it comes as a request. As you can see on my Freelancer in 22 uh, Windows 11 video, and we have crisscross 240583. Hey Jimmy, can you make a video on how to set up your own LAN or internet server for a freelancer? Why, yes, yes I can. Let's take a look. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So first thing I wanna highlight is the starport and there is the community information page and this has a lot of the things that you'll need um, so you'll have a way to download the game uh, and then we have all the patches that we'll need on here on one nice page there is still optional to go to old games download this still works you can grab the game from here so either location will be fine um, but if you just want to make one stop, you can go to the starport and I'll put the links to these um, pages in the companion post on the J76 gaming website and I'll link that in the description below. All right. So now that the download is done, we have freelancer win ISO seven zip. Now right click seven zip and extract files. And of course it puts it up on the other monitor um, and then you can select where to extract it to. And I'm not going to do that because I already have done that. So when you extract, it gives you two folders and it likes to bury it, but then you have the freelancer ISO and that's what we're looking for. And that'll take us to the next step. All right. So we have our freelancer ISO. We are going to right click, click on mount and we're going to have our setup.exe. So we will right click run it in as administrator and say yes and puts it up on the other monitor of course so let's bring it over here uh, next thing we want to click on install and you're going to want to change the install location so i have a folder set up for it ready to go so we're going to go here install and we're going to click ok now next thing you want to do is you want to change most likely if this is only going for the server is uh, click on server install. You don't need to install the game here. I'm assuming that uh, you have freelancer installed somewhere else. Um, but anyway, so we're going to do server install and click install. Now this will take a little bit, but not too long. If it goes too long, I'll speed it up in post. But anyway, um, at the end, we'll probably have to reboot so i will do that and then come back but stalling come on get there get there you can do it all right there we go okay yes so it does want to restart so i'm gonna go ahead and restart and i'll be right back all right, so we are back after a reboot and we have a shiny new freelancer shortcut on the desktop, but there is one thing that I forgot to add to our little to-do list here. And we do need to right click on the shortcut, go down to properties, over to compatibility, and we want to run this program as administrator and then hit okay. So that'll fix that. So what we need to do next is there's a couple of things and we're going to do that all at once with this combined patch. So if you go back to the community information page and there is an option here, vanilla patch that has a combined patch for 1.1, JFLP and no CD. So we need two of those. So it's easy enough just to run the whole thing. So you're going to left click on the link here to download FL combined patch.exe and that is here. Now I am going to copy that and move it into the install folder, paste. Um, and then we're going to run this. Double click. Yes. And it puts it up over here. Um, so yes, where do you want to extract it to? And it should be in the right place if you move it in there. So we'll hit extract. And it's got a couple of things. So it wants to confirm you want to replace stuff and you say, yes, we do want to. Can I get it over there in time? Yes. Get to see a little bit of progress. Um, the, the joy of trying to record when you have multiple monitors going. So anyways, so what that did is you can see now we have a JFLP um, folder and we have updated 
this is updated. Um, we have a no CD fix and we got some extra files in here that includes the 1.1 patch. So that takes care of the 1.1 patch, which is some server stability issues that are resolved and the no CD fix. So we are getting close. All right, now let's go on to the profit section. All right, so we're gonna double click on our freelancer shortcut. I'm gonna say yes. And we are gonna get a license that I'm going to accept. And we are gonna get our server configuration page. So I already have this because I was practicing beforehand. So we have a, a name that's already set up and then I have a super, super secure temp password set up here. Now there's a couple of notes that I do want to uh, point out here. So the only options that we're really worried about is do we want allow new players? And since you're setting up a server, you're gonna need to allow new players. Um, and then do you want to make the server internet accessible? Now I leave mine off because I just keep it private to my network. But if you want yours on the internet, go for it. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so there's that option. And then the other one is allow players to harm other players. Do you want PVP or not? And I am a care bear, so I do not turn on PVP. So we will hit okay. And you can get a couple. Uh, can get a couple of uh, firewall warnings. So we'll say yes. And let's get this over here. Okay. And this is it. This is your server page. It's or your super server app. Excuse me. Uh, super super fancy. The only couple of things that we really want to see here is uh, console. I mean, if you do want to see if there's any errors or whatever that are spitting out, or um, if you do want to post any messages in chat, so we can do that here. So I am going to actually switch over to my other computer so that you can see that the server is in fact launching and I'll be right back. Alrighty, we are back with the other PC that has Freelancer installed. Now this is actually running the HD edition, um, but uh, shouldn't shouldn't matter. Uh, we're gonna go to multiplayer and we're gonna click on LAN. And give it a second, hooray! There is our temp server and we need our super secure temp password. Okay. And let's find Fred. Double click Fred and ta-da, we have our own server running. So that's it. This is the, I think I would call this the basics. Um, there are lots of other things that you could do using FL hook to do uh, you know some server commands um, but uh, I don't really run any of that stuff so uh, if you guys do want to do a advanced video with some FL hook I could put some time into that but um, this will get you going to let you let you play around and uh, and yeah I think that's it for now so let me know if you liked the video if you did like it let me know why you didn't like it and uh, yeah have a great time playing freelancer and I will see you later